Hey guys, Jamin here. Uh, we're going to show you today how to work on an Acer Chromebook uh, C730 series, uh, also known as a C730E series. Uh, we're going to show you how to open this up safely, uh, replace your battery, um, and also while we're in there, it's right next to your motherboard. So in the same video, we're going to show you how to swap out your motherboard as well. Uh, so if you're here for that, jump to the uh, second half of the video. If you have any questions or comments, check out the frequently asked questions. If we see you asking the same questions, uh, we put it in there to save you time. If your question isn't in there, feel, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, we try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, so, first thing you want to do, flip this thing over. Start taking out your screws. There's quite a bit of screws in this one. Uh, you got four on the bottom, four in the middle, four on the top. So, it's a good amount of screws. Make sure you get them all. Um, as is the case with most laptop repair. If you miss a screw somewhere and you try to rip the panel off, you're definitely strong enough to do it, um, but you're gonna break stuff. So double check that you have all the screws out before you start prying things apart. If you're looking at how to get to another component in, in this computer, check out the link in the description. We'll have a full disassembly video there. Um, so you can see how to get to every component in here, your screen, your LCD cable, all that stuff so but this video we're just going to show you the battery and the motherboard all right depending on your model if you're here because this is the closest thing to your model watch out for your rubber feet sometimes they hide screws under there in this model they didn't but if you're here from another model then be careful uh, so pry off this bottom case there now watch out for this um, on the bottom case is a ribbon cable connecting to your motherboard so if you just pull this off, you're going to break it. So I'll zoom into that connector so you can see what we're talking about here. This is a very uh, typical ribbon cable connection. Uh, there's a little metal uh, rubber flap there. It goes down to secure the ribbon cable and then it snaps up to release it. So we're going to take our little plastic pry tool, pop that up gently, and then pull the ribbon cable out. I'm going to put it back down for safety. These things are very fragile. They break very easily. And uh, good luck finding a replacement online. These things are hard to find. And even if you do find a replacement, installing it, you're most likely going to break it when you install it. So um, keep those things safe. So zoom back out. We're going to take off your battery first. This big black thing on the bottom. There's a little yellow piece of tape here that's holding down the battery cable, uh, you can remove that. I tend to save it to put it back on after, you can do whatever. Um, there are some screws holding down the battery. I'm just gonna take these out. Be very careful when you're working on this because your screwdriver is metal and the battery's still in it. So there may be power still running through it. So don't poke around your motherboard with this, you could damage it. So now that that's undone, we're gonna loosen the battery. And the port is right here. Resist the urge to grab these cables and pull. Oftentimes the cables are not very well connected to the connector. And if you pull, then it'll stay in the port and, and the, and the uh, wires will just break off. So take two fingernails on either side, and just pull that out like that. So that's how you would get your battery out. Uh, if you're looking for a, a replacement and you want an OEM replacement, this is an Acer AC14B3K model. Um, keep in mind it's rated to 15.2 volts. Uh, so you can use that information to order yourself another one. And then you would install it the same way. Just put it back, make sure that these two screw holes line up, and slide that back in your port. Uh, but that's how you would access and replace that battery. That's how you would find the right one. Now moving on to the motherboard. Uh, this motherboard is very easily accessible. As you can see, it's, it's right here. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do before we unscrew it is we're going to try to unplug everything from it. Uh, so these connector cables here and here, those are the same kind that you saw over here for your USB board that was attached to your bottom case. So we're just going to snap these up real gently and then slide these ribbons out. And once you slide the ribbon out, put that back down. So slide this out, put it back down. Uh, over here you have your LCD cable. As you can see, there's a little black tab here that you can pull. I often find if I put something under here and pull that, um, it, it breaks. <laughs> so. Just be careful when you take that tab off. There you go. So I kind of put this under here and, and use my fingers to keep it to pull it off. 
So that L LCD cable's off. Working your way around, there's your Wi-Fi card that's plugged into the motherboard and screwed down. So to get your motherboard up, we're going to need to loosen the Wi-Fi cable, uh, card. So I'm just going to unscrew this real quick. Keep this screw separate. It's, it's, it's a smaller screw than these, so you don't want to mix and match. Slide out your Wi-Fi card. There we go. And then last but not least, your speakers look like they're plugged in right here. Same thing. Don't pull on the speaker wires. Use your fingernails and just pull this port out. Back and forth. There we go. All right, so it looks like everything's unplugged. Um, now we're going to go around and loosen our screws. Uh, if you don't do this often and you can't remember where the screws are, take like a picture with your smartphone um, so you know where the screws are. Because as you can see, there are some holes that don't have screws. These holes are for after when you put the bottom case back on. Some of these holes are used for those screws. Um, so take a picture with your smartphone so you know where the screws are. Another little hint is on a lot of computers, including this one, the spot where your screws are have little, let me zoom in so you can see it, so you can see one of them. There you go. So the holes that have to have screws have little white arrows. So we'll slide down here. See? Little white arrows near the screws. And then even up in the corner, for this one, there's not a little white screw, but there's a little, sorry, there's not a little white arrow, but there's an etched in arrow on the metal bracket up there. So a lot of computers are like that. They'll give you little white arrows um, where the screws are supposed to be. So when you go to put the motherboard back in, um, you can tell, you don't have to guess. So it's kind of a nice little hint. All right, I think I got them all. All right, so we got all the screws. So just carefully, because you may have missed something to unplug, or sometimes in some models, there's things plugged into the motherboard on the bottom. So don't just go ripping it off again. So. Oh, and actually this is being held underneath the hinge right there. So I'm going to need to loosen the entire hinge on this side to get that little part up from the motherboard. And then I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and gently put that under one of the holes so I can bend this hinge up. There we go. So now I can release the motherboard and nothing's attached underneath. So there you go. There's your CPU. Uh, there's your RAM. So this is how you would unplug your motherboard. There's a uh, HDMI port. There's your charge uh, port. So if you're looking to get in here to, if your charger port's broken, you can either replace the motherboard or you can desolder that and put a new one on. So that's how you would take it up. Uh, if you want to put it back down, just get it in position. Make sure that everything needs to be plugged in is out from under it. There you go. Get that nice and set down there. And then you can go and you can start replacing your screws. So there's an arrow there. There's an arrow here. As you can tell, having a magnetized screwdriver greatly helps <laughs> doing this. There's another arrow there. Oops. Where is another one? I'm missing one. Over here. That's right. So I'm going to bend this hinge cover back down. There we go. And that last one goes there. And I'll put these two hinge screws back. And again, there's arrows there, so I know which hole to put it in. They're scratched into the, into the metal. All right, so that's nice and secure. Then you just start plugging everything in. So the LCD cable just sits on top, snaps back in. Uh, these again, just pop that up carefully. Slide this in. They have generally white lines on them, so you can tell if it's nice and flush in there. Be, be careful, because you can break these putting them in. So, And this may take a few tries if you're not used to it, but get it nice and flush, nice and straight. Snap that down. Same thing with this one. This is a little di more difficult because of the angle it's at, but take your time. Snap that down. Plug your speakers back in. Okay, plug your Wi-Fi board back in. There you go. Bring that screw over. Make sure you haven't loosened your uh, your antenna wires here. 
a little black and, and white wire. And that's secure now, you're all set. So you can plug your battery back in, or again, if you're replacing your battery, slide that back into the port. Oops. With any computer repair, the first thing you do when you go in is take your battery out. Last thing you do when you leave is put it back in. So you want power running through this thing as little as possible while you're working on it. All right, so we're go. You know what I did wrong? So this battery has to slide under. Let me show you. This battery has to slide underneath these little ports in the bottom. So just take it out, slide under there. There we go. Gotta always go slow and double check what you're doing. Sometimes you go to put it back together and it's not fitting and it's because you didn't lay something down right. And you would take your bottom case, bring it back over, pull up that pin or that connector and slide this just like you did the other two. Snap it down and there you go. Now you just replace your screws. Uh, generally speaking, don't replace your screws right away. Flip it over, turn it on, make sure everything works. Uh, make sure you didn't unplug something because it's such a pain in the butt to put all the screws back in, flip it over, and then be like, oh, I forgot to plug in my touchpad. And you got to unscrew it all. But that's how you would go out and get your motherboard and your battery. Uh, please like and share if it was helpful. Again, any questions or issues you're having, leave a comment. We'll get back to you. Uh, and if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.